So welcome everyone for the next lecture. So in this lecture, we'll be uh, looking at a problem. It is design a DFA such that it accepts the language having strings where number of, uh, so the given alphabet is, in this particular case, given alphabet is A comma B, right? We'll be having strings uh, uh, and the symbols would be A and B, right? So, the acceptable string should have number of A's uh, are divisible by 3 and number of B's are divisible by 3. All right. So, what is going to be the language here? So, language is going to be, so divisibility by 3 means 0 is also divisible by 3 as well as 0 is divisible by 2 also, right. So, the smallest uh, combination that is 0A and 0B. So, that is epsilon, right. Then we, we may have, uh, let's suppose, 3a and 0b, that is, that is one combination. So I can have 3a. Then similarly, I can have, uh, uh, let's say, 0a and 2b. So, b, b should be accepted. As well as, uh, let's say, 3a and 2b. So, any combination, right? So, it can be triple a and then double b. And then uh, they, they may come in any order, right? So, maybe like you start with B, B, then I can have triple A. So, any combination of this, okay? All right. So, in such kind of problem, and the main thing is, you should cons consider is, we are having a end here, right? Okay. So, number of A. When, when I talk about number of A's, and they are divisible by 3. So, once I divide any, number by 3. Uh, so, in such kind of problem, uh, we go with the remainder, right? So, once I divide any number by 3, so the possible remainders are 0, 1 and 2, right? So, these are the possible remainders. Similarly, when I divide any number by 2, so that is number of Bs, right? So, when I divide any number by 2, so the possible remainders are either 0 or 1, okay. So, what we will be doing, we will be, uh, you know, uh, creating combinations of these two, right. Now, how many uh, total combinations would be there? So, we will be having 6 combinations. So, we will be having 0, comma 0. So, here the first value is actually indicating uh, the remainder when we divide, uh, you know, number of a by 3. And the second value is indicating the remainder when we divide number of b by 2, okay. So, 0, 0 is one of the state, then 0, 1 is another state. Similarly, uh, I can have other combination is 1, comma 0, 1, comma 1, then 2, comma 0, and 2, comma 1. So, these are the possible combination. Now, we will take initial state as 0, 0 always, okay. All right. So, that is one thing. Now, what is the other thing? If you look at, if you look at this question carefully, so we are talking about the divisibility. So, we are talking about divisible by 2, 3 and divisible by 2. So, when we, uh, you know, when we say divisibility, so that means the remainder should be 0, all right. And there is an end here. So, in both the cases, remainder has to be 0. That means, the acceptable state is going to be 0, 0. So, this is going to be our acceptable state or final state in this particular case, okay. Now, uh, let, let us complete the transitions, all right. So, here uh, I am having, uh, you know, uh, 0 number of A and 0 number of B. Once we are dividing it, so the remainder is 0. So, if a, a is coming, so obviously it will increase the number of A. That is the first value will be increased by 1 and second will remain as it is. So, whenever I am having a A, I will go to 1, 0. Similarly, when uh, I am at 1, 0 and uh, there is a A which is there, so obviously it will increase the number of A to 2. So, I will go to 2, comma 0. All right. Similarly, when I am having 2, comma 0 and there is another A, so number of A will become 3 there and when I divide 3 by 3, I will get 0 remainder, right? 
so if there is a a and i am the, at this state 2 comma 0 so the next state is definitely going to be 0 0 so this is how you will be completing right similarly 0 i am on 0 0 and i am getting a p so obviously it will increase the number of p so i'll go to 0 comma 1 okay similarly when i am at 0 comma 1 and there is a a so it will increase the number of a b will remain 1 as well as a will also become 1 so i'll go to this state similarly if i am at 1 1 and there is a a again it will increase the number of a so i'll go to 2 comma 1 right okay so we need to complete this machine so we should have a transition uh, from every state for every possible symbol right okay i am at 0 comma 1 and there is a b, uh, there is a b right for a i am already having a transition let's see for b so it will increase the number of b so uh, how many b's would be there if i am having a b at this particular state 0 comma 1 so number of b will become 2 and when i divide 2 by 2 so i will get the remainder as 0 so in this case whenever there is a b from 0 comma 1 so i will go to 0 0 all right so this is also complete okay 1 comma 0 so if i am at 1 comma 0 and i am getting a b so it will increase the number of b number of a will remain 1 number of b will also become 1 I will go to here. All right. If I am at 1, 1 and I am getting a B, so what will happen? Number of A will remain 1, but number of B will become 2. And when I divide 2 by 2, so it will make it as, make it make the remainder as 0. So I will go to 1, 0. Okay. Similarly, if I am at, uh, let us say, 2, 1 and I am getting a a. So, P will remain 1, but A will become 3. And when I divide 3 by 3, so remainder will become 0. So, I should go to two uh, this 0, 1 if there is a A. All right. So, I'm, how I am getting? If I am at 2, 1, so this is, this is indicating the uh, remainder when I am dividing uh, number of A by 3. Right. So, at this particular time, remainder is 2 and this is what when I am dividing number of b by 2, 1 is the remainder and here I am getting a a. So, a will increase this value. So, 2 is already remaining and if I am adding one more a, so it will become number of a as 3, right? And when I, when I, dig, when I do 3 modulus 3, so what, what remainder I will get? I will get 0. So, that is why if I am having a a here, so I am going to 0 comma 1 right okay i am at 2 comma 1 and uh, uh, let's say i am getting a p here so what will happen a, number of a will remain 2 but number of b will also become 2 and what is 2 modulus 2 for b it will become 0 so i should go to 2 comma 0 all right so if, if there is a b now let us look for uh, transitions for all the possible uh, you know symbols so 0 0 is complete uh, 1 0 is complete all right uh, 2 comma 0 right so if i am 2 comma 0 and uh, uh, i am having a b here for a i am already having a transition let's see for b so, if I am getting a B, so it will become number of B will increase to 1. So, it will become 2 comma 1. So, here I am, if I am getting a B, I will go to this, right. So, 2, 0 is also complete. 0, 1 is complete. 1, 1 is complete as well as 2 comma 1 is complete. So, this is the machine that will, uh, you know, serve our purpose that will accept the uh, this particular language, right. Okay, there is one uh, more uh, type of problems we can encounter in this particular scenario. So, uh, let us say instead of this AND, let us say in question it is given as OR. Okay, so the machine will remain same in this particular case if I am having a OR. The only change I need to do is see uh, what happens in, in case of AND, in case of AND both the condition has to be true then only you will get true that means 
uh, it should be divisible by 3 as well as divisible by 2. So, in both the cases, remainder has to be 0. But when I talk about OR, so one of the condition, if, if any of the condition is true, then the final result will be true, right? So, if any, uh, you know, any remainder is 0, then also it will be accepted. So, so in case of OR, 0, 0, obviously it will be accepted. But other than this, 0, 1 will also be accepted. Because in case of OR, one of the remainder can be 0. So, this first remainder number of A is 0. Similarly, 1, 0 will also be accepted. Right? 0, 1 is accepted, 1, 0 as well as 2, 0 will be accepted. So, you can see here in all the cases, at least one of the remainder is 0. So, what I will do? If OR is given, I will make these 4 state as the final state and rest everything will be same. All right. So, uh, let us uh, keep this lecture uh, till this point only. Okay. So, in the next lecture, uh, we will see uh, some, maybe some more problem on DFA design. Thank you so much.